welcome back to Royalty Soaps. So today we're going to be making Three King Soaps, which has an absolutely gorgeous fragrance oil in it. The fragrance oil I am using is Frankincense and Myrrh. It's actually an essential oil and fragrance oil blend. It's super duper expensive because it contains 25% of natural essential oils and resins in it, but it smells amazing. And I'm actually going to be putting some more frankincense types items in the soap. We're gonna be putting some little frankincense tears or frankincense resin pieces that I've put in mica so they look like little gold pieces. And we're going to be adding a little bit of frankincense powder as well, straight into these oils. I've made Three Kings soap before, but I made it a high top, so this time we're going to make it a low top. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is mix up this frankincense powder in my oils. Now that that's good and incorporated, I'm going to pour in the lye water solution down my stick blender here. Okay, I'm going to scrape out my lye water container. That way I can use it for my colored part of the soap. Then we're going to mix this up to light trace. Okay, so I'm going to set my stick blender off to the side and I'm going to pour a little bit of the soap into this container here that had the lye water solution in it. This is going to be the top of the soap and just like I have done in the past, I'm going to make this blue. The blues that I'm going to be using to color this are Blue Oxide from TKB and Klein Blue from Nurture Soap. I'm going to mix this up a little bit later, that way it doesn't set up very fast and it stays nice and liquidy. And now I'm going to add Add the fragrance oil essential oil blend into the soap you can see it's really dark but the end soap actually is like an orangey tan color so even though the fragrance oil is kind of this dark brown it doesn't turn the soap dark brown necessarily okay so now I'm gonna blend this up with the stick blender just a little bit And now I'm going to pour the entirety of that container into these two molds. So we're gonna start with this one closest to me. Ooh, I spilled just a touch there. Now we'll pour into this one here, being very careful so that that bottom part doesn't splash up on the sides. Now I'm going to scrapey scrapey out this container here, make sure that all of that good essential oil filled soap is in the molds here. Okay, so now that I have all of the essential oil filled soap in the molds, I'm going to add some mica onto the top. We're gonna to make a really nice prominent mica line. The mica I'm using to Today is Maya Gold from Nurture Soap. Then I'm gonna take my little tea strainer and I'm gonna gently pat the top all the way down this soap so that a nice thick mica line is made. This looks really pretty inside of the soap with the contrasting colors of that brown sort of orange and then the really brilliant royal blue. Christmas is my favorite time of year. These are some of my favorite soaps to do. Some of them I want to keep around like all year long like just make them right in the middle of I don't know like July or something but it really is like very specific to Christmas time so I always have to wait all year to make them. Now I'm going to spritz my little uh, paper towel here with some rubbing alcohol and clean up these sides. You don't have to do that immediately it just bothers me to no end to see that much mica sitting on the sides of my molds. Now that I have finished all of the mica line I'm going to mix up this blue. One of the things that I like to do is submerge the colorant to about three quarters of the way down, but don't push the colorant all the way down with your stick blender, because then it's really hard to get off the bottom of the container. And then don't move your stick blender around immediately. Let that powder sort of circulate in that small bit of soap there in the middle so that it disperses really well. And then once it's dis com like completely dispersed, then you can move your stick blender around. So there's your little tip for the day. Okay, so there's that gorgeous blue all mixed up, and I'm gonna put my stick blender off to the side. Then I'm gonna pour the first little bit onto my soap loaves. My soap is almost completely like solid at this point, but you still have to be really careful when you pour onto mica lines because 
even if your soap is really hard, they still kind of move easily. So I'm gonna use my spatula to break the fall and just pour very gently over this, like so. I'm not gonna be able to pour all the colorant on right now. I'm gonna have to let this soap sit up a little bit because soaps that don't have fragrance oil in it do take a little while to sit up. So I'm gonna pour as much as I can without overflowing the mold. And then I'm going to add the top part on once it's hardened up a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for a little while. I spilled a little right here. That's gonna bother me. Gonna have to wipe that up. Uh, and then after it's set up, then I'll come back, pour a little bit more of the soap on, and we'll start putting the decorations on top. Okay, so all of the soap is on top now. So I've taken a little bit more of that Maya gold, and I've mixed it with Sahara gold with some oil here. And I'm going to put little drops all over the soap. And I'm not going to put lines, just drops like this, all the way down. These are supposed to kind of look like stars. That's kind of what I'm going for here. I'm going to put some silver ones on as well. Some of them will run a little bit. That's okay because we are going to marble it with a toothpick. Now we can put on the white which I've mixed with velvet pearl mica and snowflake sparkle mica. So it's sparkly and still sort of opaque. You're not going to get that if you just use like the snowflake sparkle. It's not going to be opaque enough. It's just going to look like little silver bits that kind of float around in there. So you definitely need to make sure that you mix it with something else if you want it to be opaque. I'm just going to put this all over. We're also going to put a little bit of gold glitter on top and after we mix all this up. Okay, so now I have my toothpick. I'm just going to start swirling it all around like so. So still trying to keep everything relatively separate. Little pools of gold here and there, but I want it to not be like just one big plop on the soap. Okay, so now in my little uh, sprayer bottle here, I have some gold mica and some glitter, and I'm just gonna kinda gently mist the top with this. Not a whole, whole bunch. Just enough to kinda give it a golden glimmer appearance on the top. And then we're gonna put in the little frankincense tears. Here they are. Like I said before, I've rolled them in some gold mica so they're nice and shiny and look like little gold pieces. I'm just gonna take a very small handful probably one or two, maybe even three. Try to place them in the very center of the soap here. If they go a little astray, no biggie. The actual frankincense tears themselves smell really nice, as does the frankincense powder. So all of those together, all those components, really make for a gorgeous smelling soap. And of course, I'll leave links to where you can purchase all of these special ingredients I'm using today down below. All right, so this is what up close and personal Three Kings soap looks like. I have to make two more batches of this for like a total of four batches. So that's a lot of frankincense soap. Should have some for everybody. These will be available on November 29th. We still haven't picked a time yet, but it will probably be again at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So we'll come back in 18 to 24 hours to cut these up. Eve. Oh. We're back the next day to cut this Three Kings soap. So I'm gonna turn it just like I did with the Christmas cookies on the side so that when these little bits fall down, they're not slicing right through the middle of the soap and making ugly indentations. I actually think this loaf is separate <laughs> from one of the loaves I actually made on camera because I made like eight loaves of this stuff. So don't mind that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna press gently here on Evangeline. Pull out a little soap bar from the middle here. This is what it looks like on the inside, and it will turn this color that it is on the outside. So if you look really closely here, you can see very faintly the mica line. It didn't show up as well as I kind of hoped it would, but it's definitely still there. And here's the top of the soap. Caleb, have with you the question of the day? I'll try again. Hey, Caleb, you got the question of the day for us? Would you rather have no fingers or no elbows? <laughs> what does that even mean? Like, your arm is just one straight stick? Yeah. It doesn't have the capability to bend? Yeah, I'm gonna say for the, for the no fingers, your fingers can't bend. So you can bend, like, where your palm attaches to your finger but you can't bend your knuckles so your you knuckles. have you have no knuckles that's right <laughs> oh no so you're essentially doing this all day <laughs> yeah. let me take this soap here 
Ooh, oh yes, <laughs> beautiful. Or you can just, I don't know, move your arms around. I don't know, those are both so equally horrible. I feel like the finger, oh, but there's so many things you need your fingers for. <laughs> How would you hold hands? You'd just be like, eh, eh. I don't know, I guess I have to go with elbows just because the fingers one is so bad. Like, I just can't imagine my life. That's rough, I'd never be able to hug Lily properly anymore. What a horrible, horrible <laughs> question. But, if you'd like to participate in the question of the day, you can click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. That's where the poll is going to be. Do tell us, would you like to have non-bendable fingers or no elbows at all? Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, maybe even leave us a comment down below, and we will see you all next week. So until then, bye for now.